Hi, it's Ken Sheets with Buzz Bros, and we're here with the star and the director of Bathtubs Over Broadway. So, yeah. why don't you introduce yourselves? I'm Dave Owizanant, I'm the director and producer. Steve Young, uh, main subject. <laughs> we're looking at the, a, a project here that's really something you've never heard of. It's sort of like a well-kept secret in a way until now. Uh, the film has already won uh, uh, Best Director at Tribeca and the Writers Guild uh, Award for Best Screenplay for a Documentary. Fantastic start for you. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It was, it's about this world that people have no reason to care about or understand. And so the fact that people are, are checking it out and, and understanding the story that we're trying to tell. And, uh, well, give, give me that in a nutshell. Sure. Uh, so it follows Steve Young who was a writer for David Letterman for many years. And Steve, through the course of working at the show, discovered these crazy record albums from corporate musicals that companies used to do. Corporate musicals? Yes. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Imagine a Broadway show with full orchestra, dancers, singers, actors, choreography, the whole works. Best you've ever seen, but it's all about the triumphs and tribulations of selling B.F. Goodrich tires. <laughs> and the audience is all B.F. Goodrich tire salesmen. Well, the motto for our company is the art of social media. So we totally get what, what uh, what's going on there. And, of course, uh, the corporations have great budgets. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, they were spending a lot on these shows, especially back in the golden age when Broadway was the premier kind of entertainment. Wow. And uh, some big stars were in these things, too, weren't they? People on their way up, future stars uh, in the movie. We have uh, Cheetah Rivera and Florence Henderson uh, talking about their performing in these things. Uh, Sheldon Harnick, before he had uh, worked on Fiddler on the Roof with his late partner, Jerry Jerry Bach. They did a Ford tractor show. (laughs) So it was Fiddler on the Tractor? (laughs) I've talked to Sheldon a little bit about, because they also did... uh, uh, a musical called I think She Loves Me in 1963 that was set in a store and a lot of it was about uh, managing the business and getting customers I said was that coming out of your industrial work he said you know not consciously but that's interesting you say that because he had never thought of it wow and uh, what surprised you in all this what was the big surprise uh, I would say two big surprises for me. Uh, you hear about, oh, musicals put on by a corporation at their events, and you think that's got to be embarrassing and kitschy. And some of them were, but some of them were so chock full of A-list talent that they just, just blow you away. Just think, oh my God, this show about diesel engines is actually fantastic. That's <laughs> surprise number one. And then surprise number two, which I sort of felt coming, but Deva crystallized in the movie better than anyone I think ever could have or I could have imagined is that you go from thinking about well this is a weird part of American history in showbiz to it's a story about somebody learning to connect with their fellow man and make connections and and learn to just appreciate people's hidden talents and the, the modest people who do great work just learn to reach out and meet them and talk to them that was a big part of it. Did any of the executives get in on it? As the cast, or no. <laughs> no. Once in a while, you see, like in the in the uh, Champion Spark Plug show, the girls who are singing drag the guy well, down. They from drag the podium. him out, but they never really. Do right. That. Uh, sometimes you had like executives making cameo appearances, but yeah. the better ones were just all right. This is going to be thoroughly A grade professional Broadway style talent. The lower level ones, I think, you could probably see. Uh, the, the VP of marketing saying, you know, I'm kind of a funny guy. Maybe I should be in the show. Very I dangerous. To, I had to ask. <laughs> I come from a corporate background uh, and uh, built Oprah Winfrey Studios. And oh, wow. A few That's things. a good which, Go ahead. In, the one oh, in uh, Chicago. Yes, yeah. which yeah. used to be uh, Fred Niles' studio. Yes, and was the roller skating rink before that. Uh, <laughs> Fred Niles uh, was a producer in Chicago yeah. of a tremendous yeah. number of industrials, including one of our very favorites, The Bathrooms Are Coming, which is the American Standard plumbing fixture musical of 1969. Whoa. You've got to see, see this you movie. you were in that place. Yeah. You were on hallowed I ground. Was there. <laughs> yeah. was a part of it. <laughs> uh, and I guess in a way I've always been. I've always been a uh, filmmaker that's sort of survived on creating perks around projects. You know? <laughs> so many variations of this. It will never go away. There's a thousand 
variations in the corporate world and show yeah. business of how these worlds intersect. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled that you're bringing it to light that it can be an art form. When you wrote the script uh, and you get this award for the Writer's Guild, which is fantastic, uh, what was your inspiration in, in scripting it all? I mean, how did you well, tie all these elements together? I mean, I had, I had a lot of responsibility, really. I, had, I needed to, to, for the people who did this work uh, and were involved in it, I needed to ha do a fairly, you know, I did an accurate representation of what this history was like, but I also needed to tell the story of Steve reaching out to these people and connecting with them. And, you know, while we were filming, we learned the late show was going to shut down, and I was able to weave that into the story. And oh, wonderful. So it's... Um, and David Letterman appears in the film yeah. at some point. Yeah, so, you know, to me it's about efficient storytelling and taking the audience on a ride. And you you have a responsibility to the people who are watching the film to tell a story well and not make it about you. But, you know, what's the heart of this? So that yeah. was really what mattered most. Wonderful. How was your opening day here in Sedona for showing the film for the first time? It was yeah. great. It was really, sold out. Really screening. lovely. And yeah. the audience? People are so excited yeah. enthusiastic and enthusiastic. Everybody hung around for yeah. the Q and A, and it's the always lobby. the science. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. yeah. <laughs> come over to this beautiful reception. Yeah. People are coming up to us to say, "Oh my God, I just saw it this morning. Yeah. What a what an amazing thing!" And when does it show again here at the festival? Monday at one ten at the Harkins. At the Harkins. Yeah. yeah. One 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 p.m. Yeah. And uh, I would guess it'll probably show later in the festival too. They reserve some time for the really top films to that show again. Great. It sounds like. You got a good shot at maybe even winning this thing. Yeah, well, so. that would be great. It's yeah. just great to be able to show it to more people and, and you know, share this crazy story with the world. Now, Sedona, have you been here before? No. No. Oh, wonderful. And Grand wonderful. Canyon and Tucson. I think that's about it. Yeah. yeah that's this is like being down in the Grand Canyon. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's heavenly. It is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We got in late last night. It was dark. We woke up this morning up on the uh, Enchantment Resort, and I opened the window and just, oh my god, <laughs> the pictures don't really prepare you for what it's like to have it in your face. And you have it, have it like, it's sort of biblical right now, the yeah. way it looks here in Sedona yeah, with the, uh, the snow we've had, this is not our normal weather, <laughs> so you know. This is more like 50 degrees this time of year, 60 degrees. Um, but back to the movie, um, is there anything you want to add um, to you that I haven't covered, or well, I think the important thing for people is to know that you don't have to be a Broadway fan to appreciate what this movie is about. I mean, that's kind of what got him started, but, I mean, he wasn't a Broadway fan either, but, it, you know, it's really about uh, showing appreciation to people who are doing great work, uh, thinking they would, it would never be appreciated. So, uh, what would you say? I would say that... Uh Despite some uh, people's uh, early opinions, all ages and all demographics seem to love this movie, yeah. come out of the screenings with eyes brimming with tears and just saying how, how, how wonderful they found it. And yeah. it's, it's not a movie, as David says, for just somebody who likes Broadway or somebody who likes David Letterman. It's yeah. a universal story. All the best documentaries take a weird particular beginning and unfold it out into something universal, which is what David has done. Thank you for phrasing that better than I did. <laughs> I, mean, I appreciate that. This will be up on yeah, the maybe I should. Facebook page. You might want to grab a quote <laughs> yeah, out of there. Maybe I yeah. should get it writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, you should. Yes. Now, you were a, a staff writer yeah. uh, with the show. and What an experience that must be. How long were you staff writing for David Letterman? 25 years. Wow. <laughs> and I had a few I other. I probably laughed at many of you. Yeah, pro at least three or four. <laughs> but there are a few other side gigs, like I, I wrote a Simpsons episode. Uh -huh. have had a few other jobs since Dave Letterman shut down, but probably that will turn out to be my longest job. Wow. Was left. Wasn't he trying to bring a Netflix show back? He, he did. He did, huh? yeah. yeah, but he's not doing it as a comedy show. He has no need of jokes on that show. So wow. It's just a pure interview show. Interesting. Yeah. All right, well, so wrapping up here at uh, the Sedona Film Festival here, kicking off the first day of a fantastic festival here with bathtubs over broadway harkins theater 1 p.m monday you can see it again thank you thanks